I'm Janice Thompson and I'm here with Carl Dawson, EFT Master and Trainer and creator of the wonderful technique Matrix Room Printing. So would you just like to explain to me a little bit about what Matrix Room Printing Absolutely, is? Absolutely Janice. Okay, so with EFT it's very much about looking at um, information from past events that we re-experience and we tap to clear this information. Yeah. So that when we look back at these events we feel better about it. With Matrix Room Printing we look at these past events and we actually imagine stepping in there and by doing so, we communicate with our younger selves. Uh, we, it's like literally stepping back in time to that moment of trauma. We use EFT to clear that information of these echoes, and then we create happy, positive memories. Yeah. So instead of trauma, we can any traumatic memory very, very quickly, and usually with a you know, very high success rate, we turn that into a positive memory with it's very important, very positive beliefs connected to that. And how do you think matrix room printing can help with grief? With grief, um, there is the understanding with grief that there's all these stages people should go through. Um, but it becomes obvious, um, working, working with uh, people who go through grief, it can create illnesses and diseases as the body's reacting to these events of, of loss and separation and abandonment and such. The body reacts in very you know, clearly defined ways to these events. So by going back to, you know, as soon as possible, after the loss uh, of resolving the, the, these issues with the FT and Matrix, to um, you'll still you're not going to get rid of sadness where people feel like you know they just don't care, yeah. but the process will flow naturally. Yeah. Your energy emotion should be energy emotion, yeah. where people you know, feel the sadness and feel the loss, but but it's it's a fluid process yeah. rather than years later holding on to all, all this all this pain where they can't move on in life and they're just suffering every day. You know, certainly the people who've died would not want you to be holding on to all this. And, and we just see it's totally unnecessary. So, uh, yeah, and it's, there's certainly a you know, cultural um, belief around that, you know, we should hold on and be brave everybody. And, uh, yeah, but what happens is we just never end up dealing with these issues. Yeah. Uh, and so years later, we're so, you know, trapped and stuck in that moment and say, it just has far-reaching consequences for many parts of our lives. So, yeah, just to use these techniques to, to move through the trauma as quickly as possible, you know, to uh, just be left with, you know, a life you can carry on with and, and just the happy, positive memories of the people that you've lost. Okay. Okay. Have you got any examples of working with grief at all? Working with grief, yep. Um, just let me think of one that comes to mind. Yeah, there was um, a lady whose husband... Um, he was on the way back from London and had a car accident on the M40. Yeah. Now, when this lady came to see me, she was very much stuck. Um, this was five years later. Her uh, levels of intensity were very high. Right. Um, even though it was five years, and you think by now she would be like, kind of moving on in life. Yeah. There, was, uh, there was so much that her and her husband had planned to do together. Yeah. And she just felt like it would be betraying him to, to do any of these yeah. things. So she was working, doing nothing but work. She was a headmistress. And just, you know, just stuck in the life. So uh, we did several sessions on, you know, about the accident itself, yeah. and what she thought you know, was partly her fault because she wanted him to come home that night, and just lots of negative beliefs and trauma. Um, but what we found was that you know, she then started to book holidays with friends and did some of the things that she was planning to do with her husband, yeah. but actually she wanted to do herself yeah. and could move on with life now yeah. without being you know, feeling guilty or. Yeah, she just yeah. betrayed him for just moving yeah. on in life. Yeah. And, and instead of being at 10 with that, all that grief, you know, that, that was down to you know, a manageable level, yeah. a normal, healthy level, yeah. but of course she still misses her husband. Yeah. But life can carry on. Yeah. Okay. 